Welcome back to setting up a test environment for PHP using VirtualBox. Well, as you can see, we um, have our Ubuntu server. It's powered off. In the last episode, I showed you how to install VirtualBox Manager. And now we've got it to this point, we need to press the Start button. And this will power up our, um, our server. The first thing we come to is that we have a menu, but we also have these dialogues as well, as it's the first time we've powered um, any servers up. This is telling us about Ultra Capture Keyboard, and the option is turned on, and also that our host key is left command. This will uncapture the keyboard and mouse when we need to release it from the guest operating system. So what we do is we just click this off and we won't see that again. So, just so we have the menu. So first thing we do is we choose our language. Mine's English. And we go to F4. We do this because we want to install a minimal virtual machine uh, as we're installing it on a virtual machine so we need to do that and then just press enter and we start up the installer we have another dialogue and it talks about mass pointer, mouse pointer integration um, this means that we do not need to capture the mouse pointer so we can just release that and we should be able to carry on without interruption. So we choose our language again, mine's English. And also next we have to choose our country, which is United Kingdom for me. So press enter, and you've done that. Now we, ha we have the option to auto detect our keyboard. I'm going to say no. You can go through the yes if you want, but because um, I know my keyboard layout, I can just say no and then choose it from a list that I have. So I press English OK, and then because mine's a Macintosh keyboard, I choose the UK Macintosh, but choose whichever keyboard you have. Now it starts installing some configuration files that we need. Now, as you can see, it does take a little while to install the first bit. So just be patient as it does this. It also, also depends on how much resources you've um, given your virtual machine. So we've got to the configure network dialog. Um, the host name is Ubuntu as it, as default, but you can change it to whatever you want. But I'm going to leave it on Ubuntu, and you just press Enter, and that continues. Now we have the option to put in a full name for the new user. I'm just going to use my first name, as we don't really need to put in a full name, but you need to put in something, and I just press Enter, and it'll give your username for your account and it normally just picks out your first name so I'll just press enter for that. Now we have to add a password so this will be used for when we log in. Our username is used for when we log in as well so you just make up a new password and press enter and then verify your password. Next we have a uh, option to encrypt the home directory. Now as this is only a test server and normally on servers we don't normally encrypt uh, the home directory anyway so we just say no to that. Um, now we get to configure the clock. Um, it's already detected that I'm in the Europe London zone. Uh, it should auto detect your zone. If not, you can 
um, choose no and then choose the correct time zone from a list. So I'm just going to say yes. Now uh, this next bit will be partitioning uh, the drive. The easiest solution to the partitioning is to use the guided use entire disk. Um, you really do need to be a bit more advanced and confident if you're going to go for the manual or the LVM. So I just used the default one that they've done so press enter and just accept the the option that they give you which is only one and you have to say yes so we have to tab over to yes and just press enter otherwise we won't have any changes written to the disk So the next one we have is configure the packet manager. The package manager is where we uh, download all the packages we'll need on the system. As we're not using a proxy, we just leave this blank, but if you are using a proxy to access the internet, uh, please enter your proxy information here. So I'm just gonna say enter. And there's another option here that we can have automatic uh, updates for security updates or manage the system and landscape or no automatic updates. Well, normally we would just select no automatic, up, or no automatic updates and uh, just update it manually ourselves as and when. So we'd say no automatic updates and press enter. Now we have the software selection. As we're in the next tutorial, we'll be um, as in the next tutorial, we will install all the packages ourselves. We're going to install Open SSH Server, which is a secure shell server, and we'll use the secure shell to log into uh, the server itself, so we don't have to keep using the console. So press, just use the down arrow to get to there and press the space bar to select it. And that's all we really want on this selection. So we just press enter. Now the last part that we have to do is install the grub bootloader. Um, it gives us the option to install the grub bootloader to the master boot record and we just want to say yes and then when it reboots it will just load in Ubuntu. Now we finished the installation um, and it's time to reboot the server so we just press continue and then it will reboot it to a login prompt. And then to log in, we just need to put in our username that we used and then press enter and then our password that we gave and then press enter and that logs us into our home directory. In our next tutorial, I will show you how to install the software that we'll need to run PHP and to run a web server so we can test all our code through this series. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe and look forward to seeing you next time.